Classics Gamer Winner video today, and today I am doing the slash stats command in the fifth part of the Ultimate Command Block 3.0 series. Now, this is a really long one because slash stats just has a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, I only recently discovered it actually. Well, I knew it was there, but I never really got it, but now I do. So, we're gonna start off by creating a stat. So, this is going to be using a lot of the scoreboard objectives things, which I explained in the previous part, which you can find the link to in the description below. Now, first we're going to add an objective or stats. So we're going to scoreboard objectives, add command stats dummy. So we're just going to do that. And now we've got the command stats objective. Next, we're going to set its display to the sidebar. going to go through this really quick because, well... It's really just something I explained last time. Scoreboard player set blocks command stats zero. So basically what this is going to do is things. <laughs> it's really just if I push it, it's just going to set my score to zero so that it actually activates blocks. Because what this command allows you to do, it, it allows you to when you execute a command as a player or as a command block to show how many entities were affected, how many blocks were affected and all that kind of stuff. So... These are all the same, but this one's entities, this one's items, this one's query, and this one is success. So the success count of the command. So we're just going to add all of these so that, as you can see now, for m for me, when I run a command, those will change. So next, this will say, uh, set the affected player. So this is stats entity, sentinel underscore six, set affected blocks, blocks, command stats. So this is just going to set me as the one. So when I execute a command like fill, it will show me how many blocks were affected by that in the blocks thing. We're just going to activate that for all of them. And just like before, these are all just the same, but this one has entities in it. This one has items in it. This one has query in it. This one has success in it. Now, the ones most useful are blocks, entities, items, and success. Query isn't really that useful i think it's it's useful in a way but it's less um so i put a little barrier here because we're going on to the next part of this uh well oh no wait this is something uh we'll first try if we do put it to easy it's already on easy oh yeah we turned off mob spawning in the slash game rule tutorial so we go game rule do mob spawning and then we do true and mob starts spawning everywhere and if I now do kill at E type is zombie you will see in the sidebar that it succeeded 24 times in killing 24 zombies so there were 24 zombies and I killed all of them now if I do spider we can see it killed 23 spiders uh, we can go and kill enderman probably are a lot less those are there were only two endermen killed uh, now what we can also do is uh, we can do uh, slash set block Let's just set block and we'll just do this and gold underscore block and as you can see it affected one block uh, one entities I guess because it's me it affected me um, and then one uh, time success count. Um, so we can also do slash fill um, to make a bigger area. So we just do slash fill. I don't know this. Oh crap. And we just do like one, one, one. You can see it affected eight blocks because it filled eight blocks. But it affected one entity because that's me and it succeeded all one times. So that's really useful with the slash stats command. Now you can also do this for, because now it's uh, affecting me. So when I execute a command, it will return those uh, things. But you can also set it for a command block to return those. So we're going to add an another objective called block stats. The names are optional, but these are just really easy to use. So block stats, and it's a dummy objective. Then we're going to set it display to the sidebar. And we're once again just going to add all of these things. So blocks, entities, items, query, 
and success. If you're not using one of them, if you don't need it or if you don't need query or anything, you can just leave it. But yeah, once again, all these commands are pretty simple and they will all be in the description. These are simple commands, but this is a really useful one slash stats. So next we're going to set the affected block by using stats block. The coordinates of the block set affected blocks blocks so set affected blocks blocks block stats so this is gonna set the what well this is basically gonna be it sets the command block that affects the stat blocks so when I execute a command in that command block I specify here it will affect blocks so I'm gonna set that and set it for all of them because this one's entities items query and success and this one is the affected command block I have right here so now if I execute in this command block kill at e type is zombie it will see you it killed 19 entities 19 zombies are affected by this command and the success was 19 times and yeah so now it was seven of them so we can also just right here do once again fill oh pff, I can type and caps lock just fill and then like two one two and just fill that area up and of course just need a block sorry and we just fill the area up as you can see oh crap it affected nine blocks one entities and the success count was one for some reason i don't actually am not completely sure why it affects one entity um because it's slash fill but yeah that's pretty weird if you ask me but yeah so that's really useful and then we have some other here we can scoreboard teams add team blocks so we're gonna add team block we're gonna add team player um, and this is basically a really useful one because by doing this uh, having these teams you can by switching teams, uh, choose if you want to see the stats for uh, commands executed by the player you selected or seeing commands executed by the command block you selected. So we can set the color of the team, so we're going to make team block blue. Again, if you uh, are wondering what this, this team and scoreboard stuff is, my previous uh, part was about the scoreboard. And we're going to set team player to red. And then we're gonna use this command the set display scoreboard objective set display sidebar dot team dot blue block stats so this means that I can just do that and I can just also do this one here and this is sidebar dot team dot red and it's command stats so the command stats for the players block stats is for the command block and as you can see here if I join team block I will see these and this one is team player if I join team player I'll see the ones for uh, from when I execute the commands myself so like this and when I join this team again I'll see this one so that's a way to have both of them at the same time and switch easily between which one you want to see without messing with the set display um, I hope it didn't go too fast, otherwise you can rewatch. you can just check in the description all the commands. Uh, I, this is a really useful command, really great. Uh, I hope the tutorial helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next part, which is slash test4 and uh, specifiers. So, goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next video.